My tongue trips on language, making out which voice is mine, here alone in the room, talking to everybody at once. Which voice do you choke in which company, and when there's none? We never lived in abandoned buildings, never rode abandoned rails, highways full of us and alleys. Narratives left behind for stories told, but lived too, as well as can, in between what passes for words these days. Sentence shares its etymology with sensuous and also with sentiment. We being we never knew, but lived like that anyway. All our language, all we had to bind us. That in love, that in always danger and hunger. Every kind of hunger you could ever want, driving us to do nothing that would be rendered human by the towns we passed and hid under. Drinking water from the tap around back, wine from bags, dirt from every pore. Still looking for the noise that cracks out the walls of signal. The one that tells you who I am and you know, and where it is I'm going. Noise music for noise people, to keep those other ears from listening. Every speech a poem, every body a place to live, in spite of what they tell you is only right, because that shit is nothing but death and you know it. So what now? Me getting older, some, others falling fast or fallen. From here on out, I think my life in palliative care terms and terminologies, resting over restive, reducing always the measures of pain, suffering as little as able. I am going without question to die. So until I go, I'd like not to hurt quite so much as I do today. One eye in many worlds today. The sweat on my skin boiling out of stranger airs to cover me in anxieties and stomach ache. It's a sickness to be far from home and strange in every country. Too many dead to hold you down. Not enough life left to breathe. I want to bring you flowers. Like one of those times I was dying. Erase my tattoos with expensive medicines and call me someone new. I just want to hold you. Generic you, any you who knows my other names, who's seen my eyes move in different directions. I'll strike myself with sugar, the last drug left, to sleep for minutes in the empty beds we've made. To know right now, right here, driving home through hate and general excess, my only ambition is to be, not become. I only want to eat food inside for another few years before the bills come due. We are birds before the earthquake, animals in storm, all our eyes twitching in unison to the sound of love. I died here once, or twice, in different bodies than this one. But the flesh that carries me now sometimes remembers what the flesh that carried me then remembered of itself and others. I can smell the street with my eyes closed. Before the rain, after the dirty snow had gone, deep in spring, old coat, dirty socks, last night hanging around my tongue like the same story again. So today on that same block, I miss Marcus, I miss Dave, I miss Arak, and I miss even the ones who are still here, and the thousands more who aren't. I wish we had lived to see the day the day could be ours again, with not less but different pains to bother us. So many memories, and even more we can't remember, said song to me and back again. After the picture, and now, that's what's made this poem come here now to say. Reduce through rhetorics to nothing and back again. Kill the episteme. Abandon the narrative. Open the grave of monophony with sublime cacophony, and bury the whole world in its nothing and back again, to life without unnecessary borders. The pride we've taken in our fall comes at me during a semi-surrealistic story in a journal I'm not sure of and reminds me of how precious we are to us that we never gave a fuck about that. Even though, or especially because we could be good at all of it, we think, if we tried, but it's all such incredible shit that we can't be bothered, which is not really the truth. The truth is, it hurts, it hurts, it hurts, it hurts, it hurts, it hurts, it hurts when we try to walk there with them, acting like we're sane and good to go with whatever's clever in the moment. That world which is not, despite similar though not same geographies, is a terror and a weapon and has all the wrong dimensions for either our bodies or our minds, and now I'm wondering what will get cut and added when I come back in a few days to edit this. Maybe I'll forget about it until Memories comes around in a year and then repost it without comment to see who hits the buttons. The point is, I have a hard time engaging with media because my worldview is askew to from the nar dominant narrative to such an extent that I'm irritated by the shit people say in publishable poetry and or stories. Not always, 
but often enough to make me want to just turn it all off and play Skyrim in my underwear my whole day off. Anyway, what are you getting into today?